The Hadid Architects is now already more than 40 years old. We are currently 450 people strong. We have projects all around the world, roughly now around 1,000, and we are doing projects of all scale. Our projects are often very experimental, fluid, very different. But the challenge still exists on how to come up, how to document and how to visualize those ideas and communicate it with the different stakeholders. And real time helps us to bring all those together. Now with the new tools like Twinmotion, real time becomes accessible and mainstream. So the benefit of using Twinmotion for the designers was the simplicity of the interface, like the playfulness on which you can articulate your scenes, not worrying about all the technical aspects that usually real time brings with it, be it light maps, PBR workflows, or all the technical details. And we like to work in a collaborative way, pull everyone together to come up with a new great idea. Everyone has the possibility to contribute to the idea. But one hurdle that we had in the past was that we would often need to bring a PC with us to the client's presentation just to be able to run the project in real time. And that's where Presenter Cloud just helps us because we don't need to worry anymore about the PC. We can just upload it online and it will be rendered on the cloud and we just stream it back and show it on the local machine. This helps us to not worry so much about hardware limitations. Everything is happening online. The project manager can anytime from everywhere access the model, review it, see the commands and just immediately give you the feedback. With Quixel, we were always really interested into using those models, but recently they added buildings, facades, which allow us just to build up all this nice urban environment. So with the Quixel integration directly in Twinmotion, it's just drag and drop and enjoy. These high quality models make the immersiveness and the believability way stronger in the project. Each designer needs to have a certain capability of producing simple renders on its own, which was back in the days a little bit of a hurdle. It took quite a while to set up the render, find all the resources, and then wait two, three hours for their end results. And now in Twinmotion 2021, it's just way easier. You have a nice, easy to use interface. You have all the materials, you have all the object inside. So the designer just needs to open the software, imports or syncs his model in and then can start telling his story. So early design studies always work great with Twinmotion. But as soon as a project just reaches a certain threshold of complexity where you maybe need to have a more customized, streamlined data flow or doing more sophisticated presentation methods. That's where we switch from twin motion to Unreal with the twin motion to Unreal bridge. So now with the new features in twin motion, it actually allows the full spectrum from super simple to really complex, even procedural workflows. We are ready to actually get our project to the next level, just to tell the right story and transfer the right feelings.